Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. Yeah, definitely always wearing gloves because I have to hold the camera on my right hand now. As I broke my wrist and now I just got rid of the cost and everything. And uh, there's a car. Today we're going to talk about the trucks. Basically, this right here is the standard setup. And what I want to show you guys is the standard setup is pretty stiff. You know, it's also set up pretty stiff right now. Well, it can still carve, but you know, we thought the standard setup shouldn't be too carvy. I mean, it's already, you know, it's pretty good to carve. So when you get the board and you think it's you know, a bit stiff, just lose it up first. It's just pretty much the first thing you can do. But yeah, we have a lot of tricks. There's about four steps to, to make it carvier. As you can see, <laughs> this is supposed to be stiff already. And I'm just saying, with the trucks, you can do so much. It can be super stiff or actually super carvy. And that's the whole point of this setup, actually. But yeah, let me show you the next step now. I actually really love it, love it right now. So now we're simply going to turn around the top washer. That's the first step. Simply just like that. And it's already going to be a lot more carvy like that. I mean... It it is insanely carvy already and it's still not at its maximum the cool thing is you can still go fast not so fast right now maybe 40 kmh um but yeah just saying i mean you can do a lot with your truck <laughs> oh well we believe when you turn around the washer or actually leave it away it's pretty much going to move like a double kingpin truck and that's why we think this is really the future for electric skateboards. It's so much better than double kingpin because you have a setup for everyone. So if that will be for some reason still not enough for some, you can actually just loose it up again. Take the truck apart. It's actually horrible with one hand, but I'll try. And now, because the bottom washer compresses the, the bushings a lot, you can just leave this away because the truck is made so the, the bushing can be directly on, on the trucks. What's also really important, the thread goes all the way down. So if you want to tighten it up completely, um, there, there's a way now. It really feels like a double kingpin right now. That's not, I, I don't know, I, that's completely loose, something like that. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't really go fast. There's a car, they always wait for me. But yeah, I was like, oh shit. And this right here is not even the loosest setup that you can do. Well, if you change to like completely soft bushings, you can make it even carvier. But to me, this is like, you know, the thing is you can still go fast. Like it's stable, like as you can see right now, well, uh, there's a curve, so um, yeah, it's... So. Yeah, that's cool. You get, you get around every turn. Yeah. Dude, actually, I'm actually starting to love that, but it's almost extreme. You gotta be careful. Oh my God. It's insane. There's so many cars today. I really have to be careful. I think I could actually make this turn. There's a car behind me. Yeah, easy. That's not possible with the tight setup. Damn, this is like a double kingpin and DKP combined. And what I think makes the difference here to all the other DKPs, and I think you're going to see that in some other reviews that are coming soon, um, or actually already are out, especially in Kami's videos, you can see it. It's the degree of, of this angle right here. It's exactly 45 degrees. I kind of regret that I'm saying this. DKP, TKP combined in my opinion, because you can do anything with it. And I love it. It's stable. It's really carvy if you want it. And you can make it a lot carvier than it was right now. All right, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon.